National Society, Daughters of the Union, 1861-1865, Brigadier Eli Houston Murray Chapter, welcomes you to the grave dedication of Willis Corbett, Union Soldier. We are met not on a great battlefield as President Lincoln at Gettysburg, but at a quiet grave site of a Union veteran. Please stand if you are able for the invocation by Chaplain Marilyn Rhodes. Almighty God, we thank thee for thy sovereign care and protection in which thou did lead us in the days that were shadowed with trouble and if you gave us strength for the burden that was placed upon us. Give us courage and guidance so that after the conflict we have come to these days of peace. We thank thee that the wrath of war has been stilled no brother striving against brother, that once again we have one country and one flag. May thy blessing be upon us as a people, that we may be thy people, true and righteous, in all our ways, tender and patient in our charity, through resolve for the right, more careful for the downtrodden than ourselves, eager to look forward to the interest of every citizen throughout the land so that our country may indeed be one country from the rivers to the sea and from the mountains to the plains. We pray thee to make our memory steadfast that we will never forget the generous sacrifices made for our Join in the Pledge of Allegiance led by Shirley Risingworth. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I believe in the United States of America as a government of the people, by the people, for the people. Just rights are deserved. 
for the sin of the governed. See, in a nation, in many sovereign states, in perfect union, one and inseparable, established upon principles. It's just humanity. So American patriots sacrifice their lives and fortunes. I therefore believe it is my duty to my country to love it, to support its constitution, to obey its laws, and defend, and defend it against all enemies. Please join in the singing of the national anthem led by Rebecca Shelton. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallant. to remember and to honor Willis Corbett, who contributed toward the preservation of the Union during the Civil War, 1861 to 1865, by placing a Union veteran marker. Our thoughts today are not those of a mourner, but those of one who comes to share a spirit of patriotism, loyalty, and love of country. Sandy Banks will now present a tribute to Cecilia Corbett, Cicely Corbett Goodwin, and the biography of Willis Corbett. of her great-grandfather, Elijah. After joining the Daughters of the Union in 2016, she recalled many years ago discussing the Civil War with her uncle, Austin Corbett, when they wondered if their Civil War ancestor could be honored. Cecily wanted to pursue this, and the original dedication was scheduled for April Cecily fell, and the dedication was postponed. Unfortunately, she passed away October 7, 2019, and cannot be here in person, but she is certainly here in spirit. Willis F. Corbett was born in Hopkins, Kentucky to Samuel and Sarah Timmons Corbett, the oldest of seven children. His first wife, Drusella, passed away in 1843 after 14 years of marriage. They had five children. He then married 17-year-old Patricia Williams in 1857, leaving behind his wife and children, Willis, at the age of 37 signed up for a three-year enlistment in the Union Army in October 1861 at Calhoun, Kentucky. He mustered in January 1862 and served with the 17th Regiment, Kentucky Infantry, Company H. 
the 17th Regiment was organized at Hartford and Calhoun in September 1861 under the command of Colonel Harden, John Harden McHenry, Jr. The regiment transferred to Louisville in December of that year. From September 1861 to January 1865, the 17th Regiment Infantry engaged in several major battles in Tennessee, Mississippi, and Georgia. Of the 1,473 soldiers, 298 were killed or lost to disease from that regiment. While Willis and his brother Andrew served in the Union Army, another brother, James, served in the Confederacy, as was not uncommon in the state of Kentucky. James was captured early in the war near Green River, Kentucky. His last known whereabouts was possibly on a ship near Vicksburg, Mississippi. Willis mustered out with his regiment January 23, 1865 in Louisville, Kentucky. After the war, he returned to Hopkins, Kentucky and is thought to have returned to work as a laborer. He was the father of a total of eight children, with two daughters being born after the war. Willis died of unknown causes October 7, 1871, at the age of 47. here today honoring Private Willis F. Corbett, Union Soldier, who served in the 17th Kentucky Regiment, Company H.R. From Kentucky, Joy Ashby, White Marjorie, Terry Lynn Ashby, Mariah Ashby, Fairhurst, and Candace Ashby. From Florida, Ruth Corbett Weaver. From Indiana, Pat Moorhead Barnes, Robin Kit Corbett, Sandy Goodwin Banks, Gary Goodwin, John Goodwin, and Mark Goodwin. by Rebecca Shelton. Last Canteen by Private Miles O'Reilly. There are bonds of all sorts in this world of ours, fetters of friendships and ties of flowers. A true lover's not, I mean. The girl and the boy are bound by a kiss, but there's never a bond, old friend, like this. We have drank from the same canteen. Thank you. 
canteen. The rich and the great sit down to dine. They quaff to each other in sparkling wine from glasses of crystal and green. But I guess in their golden portions they miss the warmth of regard to be found like this. We drank from the same canteen. We have shared our blankets and tents together and have marched and fought in all kinds of weather. And hungry and full we have been, had days of battle and days of rest. But this memory I cling to and love the best. We drank from the same canteen. For when wounded I lay on the center slope, with my blood flowing fast, with so little hope, upon which my faint spirit could lean. Oh, then I remember you crawled to my side, and bleeding so fast, it seemed we both must have died. We drank from the same canteen. now will be led by Rebecca Shelton. Will you please come forward as your organization or chapter is called and recognize this tombstone. Brigadier General Eli Houston Murray Chapter, National Society, Daughters of the Union, 1861-1865. Civil War. John B. Anderson Camp, two twenty three. of the Union Veterans of the Civil War in Indiana. Camp Duffield, Camp Number One, Sons of the Union Veterans of the Civil War. added you to the program. You I want did. you to get okay. credit for all the work that you do. <laughs> well, that's why I came up with Camp 2, but that's fine, too. Thank you very much. Forests, Orphans, Sons of the Confederate Veterans, number 1744. Chapter, Indiana Sons of the American Revolution. <laughs> Captain Hint, oh, sorry. Thank 
sure you stay where it's flat. Captain Stephen Ashby Chapter, Kentucky, National Society, Daughters of the American Revolution. Thomas Briggs Sr. Chapter, Indiana, Colonial Dame, 17th Century. Well, as the Indiana State President for Colonial Dame, 17th Century, I will recognize. Evansville Society, Indiana, Children of the American Revolution. Please stand for the closing. First is the three volley salute, and bar up and then taps. After the volley, announce the volley. Okay. Group, up and shoulder. About.
place. Press. that far away. The benediction will be by Marilyn Rhodes. servants, the promise of everlasting life, and to guide us on our way and support us with courage and your blessings to unite us in service to you, our God, and this, our country. Amen. Officer of the Color Guard, please recess the callers. Right. and the Daughters of the Union, thank you for attending this dedication ceremony honoring the memory and service of Willis Corbett, Civil War Patriot. We will be taking pictures of each of the descendants and of each groups that are represented here today. A reception with cookies and water will be held during the picture taking, which is in the back back there. Thank you all for coming.